Hello everyone and welcome to another product review here on my explorations. Um, so today um, it's going to be a little bit different than what I've done in the past. Um, so this time the product review is going to be kind of done in different parts and it's going to be over time. Um, so this is actually another product from GearVest. So the package has arrived so I haven't even had a chance. So we're actually going to be doing a whole um, unboxing as well as um, a review of this product. Um, so let's actually just get started here. Um, I actually ordered this a little bit a while ago, um, actually while I was on vacation. Um, of course, I wasn't expecting to lose my job when I returned, but so unfortunately it was already ordered. Um, one of the reasons I was ordering this was because my camera was starting to act up a little bit, so I wanted to have a little bit different camera. Um, the camera I had been using on vacation was, I've had for many years, and it's, it's done very well. Um, it's just that in, sometimes in sunlight, and certain light, it doesn't do as well. Um, so I wanted to get something that's a little bit more for action. Um, so I'm actually testing this out. And so I'm actually going to do a little bit of a review. So um, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I never really got into the whole action camera craze. Um, the oh what the hell is the oh my brain's having a brain fart right now um right because there's a whole bunch of different type of action cams out there um but they're really expensive so that's why i wanted to try to find something that was good um and comparable and to really you know put it up to the challenge and i've heard some really good things about it so we'll see how this does so this is actually a 4k wi-fi action um camera so this is it here so it's a 4k sports um ultra high definition digital video camera um it is part of the uh the furrow b it is also got the water resistant case um so it's got a 16 megapixels camera some of them that i saw out there were still in like the two to five range and i'm like going okay i thought why are we still doing two megapixels in today's um, it also does 4K at up to 30 frames per section. Um, it can actually go even faster than that where, um, example, you can do a, uh, the 720p at 120 to 190 to 120 frames per section. So it does do some high speed um, taping. It even does a 1080 um, at a 60. Um, so it is a really, really, it should be a really good camera. It's, you know, the default is a 1080p. Um, it does have a video screen on it. Um, it's also compatible with uh, the Wi-Fi with the Android and the iOS. And it also has a 170 degree lens. So a lot of that with 170 degree is how wide of a screenshot can it get. Um, the only thing I've seen around issues with some of those 170s, you kind of get that really weird bubble view, and we'll have to see if this one does that or not. Um, but it's really good. And now I got the black one. This also does come in many different colors. You can choose black, white, silver, yellow, blue, pink, or gold. Um, you can also choose it with a US plug or with a Euro plug. Now, since I'm over in Canada, I need the US plug. Um, but this, so this is something that's really great and, and works good for anybody in the world. It um, does uh, com uh, accommodate for the micro SD card up to 64 gigabytes. Um, that was really important because especially when you start getting into high quality, um, your v size of the video files, I noticed you will notice increases dramatically. Um, I saw some out there that they couldn't accommodate up the, it was like the max was like 16 or 32 and I'm like wait a second here I'll be going through carts left right and center so I wanted something that's going to be a little bit more up to date 
It also have the other thing to look for is battery. Some of them are the batteries are only good for like 16 to 90 minutes. This one has a 90 minute life. But some of them are the batteries are sealed. And that's something you really want to look for. Now, this one is supposed it has a replaceable battery, um, uh, you know, rechargeable. So you can, I can actually buy more batteries so I can have all the power and the length in the world that I want. Um, uh, comes also with a whole bunch of different accessories. So we'll go through all that and applications. Water resistant up to 30 meters. Some of them you'll see that they're only good for like three meters or like for 10 feet. This is actually pretty good. And you connect it all Wi-Fi. So I'm actually really excited um, to really get into this. Uh, when choosing 720 for 120p for recording on phones, blurred screen may show but it won't influence the quality and when you look at the kind of computer it'll be fine okay everything's all nice and neatly packed so come on there's my new little camera cool little gadget there so that should be in its case so it should have a lock That makes it so you can't get it out. And it's probably going to be a tight lock, isn't it? Oh, that is a tight lock. I just want to play with it. So there's the fur K little Furby. Furby, Furby, Furby. Ooh, gotta get used to playing with all the little buttons. Of course, nothing gives you a manual, so I got the US port one as well, as you saw there. Um, so as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different attachments, depending on did you need to connect it to a bike, were you going to connect it onto a tripod, um, ooh, and replacement screens, really? Um, did you want to have it just to clip onto something else, go onto a tripod? Um, so really excited about using all those little gadgets. Oh my god. So what do we got here? So we've got straps, tight on straps, cleaning, carry strap, and then five billion of these little things that I had to figure out which ones are designed to attach to. Oh, that's designed to attach onto my Okay. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, and then I can use that and just slide that on. Oh, this is going to be fun. Right? Because I don't know about holding it like that or onto that thing, but this is, you know, there's different cases designs to hold on to. Um, thank you for your purchase. Sports. User manual. Okay. Waterproof case. Check. Bicycle bracket. Check. Five other pieces. <laughs> um, oh, that's the one that's on it. That is the pedestal. One. Um, and then there's a pedestal two. Then there's also a replacement back clip. Um, fixed base, so that would be to put it onto the other regular, um, and then there's different switch supports, one, two, and three, commutator is that one there, helmet pedestal, look, Attach it to your helmet. Um, bandages. Shell. Ribbons with some mat. Data cable, wire cable, and adapter with a cleaning cloth. So there's many different ways that you can do this. You can even have it where there's a little clip where you could have it clip onto your belt if you wanted to. 
Um, that's one I'm, I'm kind of looking at all these different things here, and I'm really kind of excited. Um, I just didn't want to be paying a whole bunch of money um, for all those other ones. So, as you can see, this is not bad. So, let's talk about price. Pricing kind of varies. Now, they, your best does do pricing based on your own currency, so you can kind of match it to what works best for you. Um, so, you can do it in US dollars or Canadian dollars. I did it in Canadian dollars. Now, when I bought this, it was on for was it 56 or 58 Canadian. Um, and of course, that was a few weeks ago. Now, GearBest is having an end of 2016 sale. Um, and now, this exact same camera is on for 50 Canadian. I wonder if they price match. <laughs> uh, because it's on sale now like bummer um, but yeah those are just some of the things that are out there so it's actually on so right so 50 bucks for an action cam and when you look at the ones in the store that are costing you um, got like two three hundred bucks um, the spouse went and bought one or something um, so the GoPro so this is comparable to the GoPro my mind was just having a big brain fart um, now the spouse had went to try to do one of the GoPros and I kind of looked at the specs and, and, and it was like on, they were like, Oh, but it was on sale for like 150, 200 bucks. And I'm like, this had less specs than my cell phone. I was better off using my cell phone or our old camera. No, we're returning that. Um, and when you look at the sale of some of those, you know, you go look at the GoPro four and it's like you're paying in the four to $500 range. Um, that's just way too expensive. Um, so I've done the unboxing here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get this all charged up and all ready to go. Um, and we'll do some testing and playing around and show some video and some pictures and, uh, give you, um, you know, my thoughts on what I think. Okay, before I go too far, um, because I just want to kind of show you this kind of makes it look really big. It is a little tricky just to get the case on because it's kind of like, okay, it's kind of lift and stuff and the manual doesn't really explain too much on it. So the actual cam is actually, that's my hand. That's the size. All right, so to continue on, um, I'm doing my review of this 4K sports cam over a couple of days so that's why i'm in different shirts and different sceneries and stuff like that um so to continue on with um as i already did the opening here already um i've now was playing around and using the second case so it comes with the different cases so you can use the cam in the waterproof case or you can use um a protective little bit of a protective so it protects some of the edges um, or you can just use it like that. The problem with this is it picks up all the sounds from your hands, so it is best. So the, the nice thing about this is um, the parts are all interchangeable. So let's say I wanted to wear this on my belt clip um, by using this and just attaching this, right? All of a sudden, I now have a camera that I can just clip on to whatever I want. Um, so it is very versatile in that um, this kit comes with everything. So I'm actually going to do some comparison. Um, so I actually did some deep research against the GoPro um, and the 4K. Um, pretty much this actually, um, and I also will include some pictures and videos, this actually um, comes pretty close to meeting the same quality um, as the GoPro, um, but as a fraction of the price. So um, there is pros and cons for all sports cam. And this is the same regardless if it's GoPro or one of the, the cheaper ones on there. <clears throat> if you are looking for a cam to do action, sports, fast movements and stuff like that, then a sports cam is definitely the way to go. If you kind of want to do something kind of sitting in here to record yourself, yes, you can use this, um, but here's the downside. This is the same case. It's also for the GoPros. 
Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a warning. Um, with the waterproof casing that's for the GoPro and for any sports cam, the video's fine. You will not get audio. Um, and this is a downside and, and you can you can actually Google it and review it from everything and it's the same complaint with all the GoPro cameras. As soon as you put it into here, it's pretty much you're there to get good video and pictures, but no sound. So to a point that is kind of a little bit of a turnoff, um, because as you know, I'm really a big um, you know, travel and Disney freak and stuff like that. And I wanted to have a nice good cam that I can do on the rides. Um, if I take this on the rides, it's not going to get any, it's not going to record any video. You are going to have to kind of, um, either do your own commentary, um, or you may have to put like a music or something on there. So keep that in mind. This case was never designed um, to record video or sound at all. Um, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Um, now there has been some people trying to come out a way to make it work. Um, and what they were doing is, is they were buying a different case that had an opening here on the side. And what that did is that allowed you access to the port. And what one of the life hacks somebody was doing is, is when there was one of the ones that had the access, they were putting in the cord to connect an external microphone or waterproof microphone. And then they were using silicone putty to make sure and protect to make it waterproof. Um, to me, that's just too much really of a hassle. Um, to really have to do that because now all of a sudden I've got this cam, I have to worry about a cord coming out. It's not versatile. Um, if you are looking for something that's going to take that's waterproof um, onto the rides and stuff, then you are going to be best sticking with a regular camera. Um, that's going to be your best option. Um, if you're okay without the sound, then definitely you can go with this because this is also going to make it regular a little bit more protected um, than a regular camera. So that's one of the cons for all the sports cams that are out there. Um, but if you just want to use it now, so I don't really recommend this um, unless you're okay with no sound for your video. If sound's important, then um, and you're okay you're not going to be getting it wet, then just use the back clip because then that can be designed and attached in the same thing. You can have that go onto a helmet. You can have it go onto your bag, onto your belt clip. Um, it even comes with all the stuff to attach and to put it on um, to a helmet, onto a bicycle, uh, handlebars. Um, so it does come with everything that's really um, there and designed. And that's a yeah, that one's a different clip than that one for. There's so many clips and things on here that you can do it. You can also, it comes with all the adapters, so you can use it on a um, a regular tri uh, selfie stick, um, which I do have. So that will, that's really going to come in handy because then I can get some really good videos with my selfie stick. Um, I also bought from Gearbest one of the stabilizers, um, which will also be compatible um, with this, uh, I moved it and put it all over there. And this is the case you would just actually attach it and there is your cam. Um, now as for the quality, it starts up default in 1080p mode. Um, so that's what I've been taking. I haven't done anything yet in the 4K. Um, it does, just as with all cams, it's not something really great in a low light. Um, I did take some pictures uh, and some video inside the house when it was darker. Um, you can see a little bit of the grain, but it does do really good in um, a lighted situation. Um, so I'll show you some of those pictures um, and some video and add that in there as well. Um, and then you can see from there, it's not too bad. Now, as with all sports cams, remember they have that 170 degree, right? So with that, as you can see, do you notice there's kind of like 
a little bit of a bevel and that's kind of common with the GoPro and sports. Um, you are going to notice in your video and your, and your pictures that slight bevel in there as well. They're not, these are more designed to capture the fast, the quick, the moving, not um, be your professional photography, um, but it's more for that action. Um, whereas some of the regular cameras, for example, don't like the action. Um, so if you are thinking about getting um, a GoPro, um, really I'm going to be, you know what, um, you're going to be spending out a lot of money for that. All right, sorry about that. Um, so really to, um, I do make want to make a suggestion if you are going to be going out to get a GoPro, save your money. Um, there, it's not worth paying a couple hundred dollars for those. Get this instead. Get um, this the 4K. This will pretty much you wouldn't you're not going to notice much of a difference. It's almost um, identical, pretty much to the quality and the stuff that's on there. And you're going to get the whole same same kit um, and everything that comes with it. Um, and a lot of this is also compatible with some of the GoPro. Um, accessories as well. So I would definitely consider this as an alternative to GoPro. Um, gonna be well worth um, the saving and the do your money. Um, and I would really do that more than, um, oh, it's still recording. <laughs> I had it still recording. See, look, you can see me twice. Um, I would definitely consider doing this than getting a GoPro if you want to get into um, uh, a sport cam. Um, so definitely check it out below. Um, they do have many different versions that's on there. Um, they even have some cheaper ones if you don't want as high quality or as big as a card. Um, but this one I chose because it was the really the best value. And as I said, um, you know what, they always have them um, on sale. But definitely check that link there below um, if you are going to go for, if you want to go for like a sports cam and to help save you money spending on the GoPro. Um, and that's it for uh, this review. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, as I know some of you may be, you know, upset with me is that I'm, I'm not trying to put down GoPro. Um, but for some of you that have a GoPro, what are some of your thoughts or some of the things on there? Um, how do you like it? Has any of you tried some of the other, um, alternative non GoPro name brand sports cams? Hold. It's cold.